I tend to tell patients things that are low impact, you know, walking, biking, swimming, those elliptical machines that they have at the Y or, or exercise places are real nice because they take the impact out of the, out of the walking or out of the running. You know, jogging and running have a lot of impact and the amount of force that a knee sees with running is about four times your body weight. So, you know, walking and biking where you're taking that force off of there, taking that impact away is a real nice exercise to keep the joints moving and decrease inflammation. Another common question is, should I put heat pads or should I put an ice pack on? Well, oftentimes I say, well, you know, whatever feels best. But typically in an acute period, you know, if the knee's really inflamed or it's really swollen and you had a bad weekend or you had to go shopping for the weekend or you were doing a lot of activity and it swells up acutely, ice packs or ice therapy is typically the treatment of choice because it's an acute time period where you want to get rid of the inflammation. So I like ice. I like heat when you want to try to increase, you know, the blood flow. If you're taking an anti-inflammatory, like ibuprofen or Aleve, sometimes a little heat on the joint will help get that medicine to go to that joint and actually increase the effect that it has on that area. So sometimes that, that heat therapy can be good as well. Go ahead. Should you, if you know you're going to have a knee replaced or whatever, should you do some stretches for a month before your surgery so that you build this up and it's not so bad afterwards? Absolutely. I think that's but a, you know, I, and sometimes I even put patients into physical therapy if they really need it, which we'll step, touch on here in a minute. But yeah, basically you want to maximize your joint movement as well as your strength around the joint so that when you come out of surgery, you're, you can get that benefit as well. I have another question. Sure. Uh, now, when you do surgery, does that take out a lot of the arthritis part, all of it? What it, is your opinion? It absolutely does. So we, we'll look at it, what a knee replacement looks like. But what we're doing basically is we're going to remove the arthritic portion of the knee and replace it with the artificial knee. So, yeah, the arthritis. But it doesn't take out all of the arthritis. All of the arthritis should be gone. It doesn't take out the, the tissue around the knee. And some, you know, some studies show that even the tissue around the knee in an arthritic knee has a lot of inflammation. But certainly once you get rid of the arthritis, meaning the bone-on-bone the -bone changes, and replace it with metal and basically plastic, that should be gone. And then eventually that lining of the knee should start to get better. And we'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. So again, physical therapy, we have a few of our physical therapists, actually most of them here in the back of the room, put a plug in for them. They do a great job here at Lakes Regional, um, do an excellent job with the patients that I've uh, been treating both surgically and, and, and non-operatively thus far. And it's a real good way to try to help an arthritic knee prior to surgery like we just discussed to, to maximize your benefit as well as post-operatively. They're real important uh, to get a patient up and moving in the hospital as well as outpatient after you finish um, you know, your inpatient stay. They help maintain your range of motion again. They help with daily activities. They help kind of with if there's any stability issues, strength issues. They're going to be the ones that are going to address that and they get to see you a lot more frequently than I do as far as kind of maintaining and helping you know get that joint back into good shape. And they, they often will give you exercises to take home with you to, you know, to use and to show you how to do things appropriately. You know, if you're doing things inappropriately, that can also make a joint kind of painful. So they'll show you how to do some of your daily activities without as much strain. 